Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Solomon Jagwe. So today uh, I have an exciting uh, guess, tutorial. At least I'm excited about it. <laughs> I don't know about other you, but personally I'm excited about it. And the reason I'm excited about this uh, update is because I've been a 3ds Max user and Maya user for a very long time. Okay, and recently I started working in uh, Blender. And recently, of course, you many of you know that uh, Blender 2.9 was released. And um, being a newbie in Blender, which is kind of strange, being I, I have done 3D for a long time, but I'm a newbie in this program. Um, I've been on a quest to yeah, to figure out how to use a blender to create uh, t short films one being because it's a free application uh, it's pretty cool you know it, it, it's pretty powerful in terms of uh, rendering I can't, right now I'm have EV enabled but anyway let me not even get ahead of myself because of the excitement but the reason I'm excited today is because recently so you all, many of you know that I, I love creating uh, sci-fi short films, but recently, guess what happened? A new update came out, and this new update is uh, the bridge, the does bridge to Blender, and this is the 2.0 version. So you've seen me in another video share about uh, the the bridge from does to Blender, and I'd mentioned that they right now, that at that time when I recorded that video. There was no way of taking environments from DAS into Blender using that bridge, and you could only do it with the characters. Well, the day has come when you can actually take everything, <laughs> everything meaning environment and characters together, you know. And this is an example of what I've done. You know, his little boy right there. But this environment. I was able to bring it from Daz Studio right here. And you can see the setup. Same environment, same character in Blender. Okay. It is the same process, really. You go to um, Daz uh, 3D, you click on Get Started for Free, and you're able to download. You know the you're able to download the plugin which is a script and you install that inside of does okay and it's gonna show up as a script up at the top under the bridges it's gonna come up as does to blender so what you see now is when you click on does to blender when you click on that to send it it has more options now so you have environments and you also have props that's it. Sorry, you have uh, Genesis for the characters, and you can also opt to do both. So when you send both of them to uh, Blender, it's gonna take the entire environment. Now, be careful because I did a test previously, and I was able to. I tried to take a heavy scene, and it took forever, <laughs> almost two hours. So as you're sending these environments, just be careful what kind of uh, set you're setting. And this character was pretty easy because it has no clothing. It's just an alien dude. And but once I was able to send it to Blender, I was able to do the lighting and uh, the adjusted some of the you know camera settings. So if I click on my camera right now. You able to see that I've enabled uh, depth of field, and I have some emissions going on on, on the lighting, and also on the glowing of the eyes of the alien glowing. So this is really really cool because what's neat, what is really neat, guys. I'm using EV, and this is in real time. Uh, well, I don't want to say real time, but look at that. I'm able to preview this in uh, pretty close to real time. And that is what is cool because now I know I can render something real quick in Blender. Uh, so, of course, in my previous renders were in Daz Studio. I was trying to test how to create a short film in Daz Studio. But now I'm thinking that hmm, if I can send my characters and environments to Blender, that is a cool way to get my concept going. Like if I wanted to put something together real quick. So maybe I can light it in Blender, see how it's going to set up. 
and maybe try to set it up in uh, DAS, but this is a much faster render engine in EV, so I'm really torn. But I think this is a great option for us as indie filmmakers to be able to bring these characters from DAS. You, know, you can imagine this whole library of uh, environments, like for science fiction. Uh, now you have, this has opened up the gate whereby you can take the characters and environments and then do like really cool lighting, like with glowing lights and things like that. And now I'm, I, th I know I have to do like add a, do install an add-on to add lens flares and things like that. But again, um, seeing as uh, Blender is free, <laughs> I have to hunt around and see if there are any free uh, lens flares because that's what's missing in this uh, shot right now. I, I would love to see like a lens flare in here uh, for the camera effect. And like when I switch to my camera to be able to see like a, a, a glare and lens of or rather a lens flare on this character. So guys, that's what's been so exciting. Uh, discovering Blender, knowing that I can sculpt in Blender and being able to render this because um, this is not rendering like, uh, like ray traced rendering. Sorry, it, it's not rendering, um, taking forever to render to show me this uh, render like in this camera view this is almost in real time you know so guys you can help me out is is ev a real time renderer or not but i guess if you have because i'm using two graphics cards uh, gpu cards and it seems to be instant instantaneous and that is pretty cool so guys i want to just point out real quick that to get the that uh uh, plug in the script you just have to go to does 3d.com uh, blender and uh, slash blender dash bridge and you'll be able to see the update and this update you're able to take characters and environments from does to blender uh, i think <laughs> uh, blender is becoming a little bit it's growing on me it's growing on me i gotta i gotta admit you know because uh, i'm so used to the what we call professional DCCs in Maya and 3ds Max and uh, Cinema 4D. Uh, to be able to see this in uh, Blender is pretty cool. I, I gotta admit. So, I, guy, Blender users, I, I see why you're so excited about Blender because initially, you know, I'm, I'm a newbie. I'm seriously, I'm brand new to Blender. Even with a few tests that I've done, I've only been doing like uh, how to take stuff in here, but. Uh, today, as I was doing a test, I was like, golly, I can do emissions, like emissions, like just, just like that, <laughs> you know, and I can do emissions in, uh, in the character's eyes too. So, and I can do depth of field. So this is really cool. And I am very, very happy with the result. Um, I, I encourage you, please go, go try it. Try the uh, uh, DAS to Blender update, the 2.0. And let me know what you think. So for, your, for, for those of you who are already into Blender and are very good at it, uh, give me some pointers. Tell me what I need to do. Help me navigate so I can actually put together something that I can be proud of. Because I, I know you guys are proud of Blender. I am new and I'm, I'm ready to learn. But uh, this is very, 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 very exciting to me. And when I get, get excited about something, I, I can't help but share with every, all, all my uh, supporters here on, uh, on my YouTube channel. So thanks, thank you so much again for subscribing, for clicking like, for sh um, sharing. And please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and click that notification bell so you may be alerted when I post a new video. And let me know if you're able to test out this uh, bridge from DAS to Blender and how it's working out for you. But uh, for me, I'm, I'm pretty stoked. <laughs> this is a, a very good uh, update. So does 3D team. Well done, guys. And uh, I think it's going to just expand the possibilities of what we can do in Blender. Because I mean, I know the reason I share these videos, guys, because I know there's so many out so many of uh, my fellow storytellers out there who are not able to model a character who are not able to model environments but want to quickly put together your scenes and stories and create short films yes so this is a good option to use and check it out i mean give it a try and uh, let me know what you think and uh, definitely go through does 3d 
and go at it and i think what's really cool is that uh, sometimes they have promotions whereby if you have like a platinum membership you can actually get discounts you know like a model like this which is might be a lot of money so let me click on this one and see for example uh on average it's about 19 dollars 95 but look it's selling for 13.97 so you can imagine bringing that character uh, with an environment like a cool environment so for example if you went and picked up like a cassette like this one for example sci-fi living room right and then that one is also on sale you know 15.37 so think about it guys you can really bring together something and if you're just jumping into filmmaking and short filmmaking this is a great way to get into this uh, industry and the, f the fun way of telling stories and then of course use blender which is free <laughs> completely free for you to, to be able to create your uh, short films and then add these nice cool effects like you see here in the camera so this is cool i encourage you thank you so much for your support click like share subscribe hit that notification bell and let me know what you think of uh blender and the new uh does to the does bridge to blender thank you so much and see you next time Bye bye